There is one thing that is more important to my photography than camera bodies, lenses, lighting, memory cards, or any of my other gadgets and gizmos. Are you ready for it? Inspiration. Inspiracion. Aspiracion. Inspiracion. Inspiracione. Yes, inspiration. It's all around us, but sometimes it can seem elusive. Sometimes you need to look for it, and other times it'll find you at unexpected moments. I love those unexpected moments, and you know, I don't think it's cheating to seek out unexpected inspiration. Now that sounds like a paradox, but it's a bit like doing the right things to make your own luck. One source of inspiration, expected and unexpected, that I use time and again is magazines. You might find me at the used bookstore on the weekend looking through and buying old Life magazines, National Geographic, a fashion magazine, or really any other magazine that is visually oriented and that catches my eye. And nearly all of them fit into the category of visually oriented. One thing that I stumbled upon quite unexpectedly in the past couple of weeks is called Texture by Next Issue. Texture is one subscription that gives you access to a great many magazines. What does that mean? Let's take a look. This is their site and here are all of the magazines that they have to offer. They have two categories, monthly magazines or monthly and weekly. Let's just take a look at all of the magazines. Allure, Billboard, Brides, Architectural Digest, Backpacker, Entrepreneur, Fitness, Glamour, Harper's Bazaar, National Geographic, Nylon, Weddings, Popular Photography, Popular Science, Rolling Stone, Shutterbug, Vanity Fair. It's an amazing collection and there is inspiration everywhere. So many of these are primarily visual magazines. Now, I do read these magazines for the articles, but the photos are what draw me in. And it's the photos, the color combinations, compositions, poses, the feeling that I get when I look at them. Those things are what is swirling around in my head the next time I have my camera in my hands, whether it's photography for work or for pleasure, portraits, landscapes, or product photography. I signed up on the site for their 30-day free trial. This gives me access to all of the magazines that you just saw on the list and back issues on my computer, my tablet, or my phone. Even when I don't have a lot of time, I've got access right on my phone, which is always with me. You can download issues too, so when I'm not connected, I've still got instant inspiration at my fingertips. Next issue has been around for a couple of years and they have gotten plenty of press, but for me personally, from the photography perspective, and for me as a business owner too, always looking for new ideas, I see this as game changing. You'd spend hundreds a month on these magazines if you subscribe to them individually, even electronic subscriptions. So with this one subscription, you get all of them. There are two pricing options, and you're free to read current and past issues at your leisure. Also, there's an unexpected benefit. I found myself reading magazines and articles in magazines that I wouldn't pick up at the newsstand or subscribe to individually. Guys, I think you know what I'm talking about. Fashion or hair and makeup magazines have plenty of photos that can help you take your portraiture to the next level, but you're not exactly gonna be like, Hey honey, I'm headed out to the store for hair and makeup magazines. Do you need anything? So with Next Issue, you can browse through the latest issue of Road and Track, but then peek over at those, you know, women's magazines that you're probably not going to carry around in your briefcase. Here's the bottom line. You can sign up at their site for a free trial. I've included a link to it in the description of this video. And yes, after checking this out for exactly one minute, I sought out and found their affiliate program. The moment I signed up, the next thing I wanted to do was tell the world about it. So if you use the link in the description of the video below, it gives me credit for your free trial, which ultimately helps my site. I wanna be clear though, like those old commercials say, when you sign up for the free trial, there's no obligation during the trial and you can cancel any time. Now, if you're like me, you're looking at the price and thinking, okay, what's the catch? <laughs> There's a ton of magazines here and one monthly price that's pretty low, but there's no catch. It's that cool. And you can try it out for free. 
Check out that link for more information and to get free access. So tell me in the comments, are magazines helpful to you for what you do? Do they help you get to that next concept, idea, and maybe even let your mind wander a little? If not magazines, is there something else that has gotten you from concept to idea to execution?